Now let's talk about the photos of the iPhone and how you can blur the background or how you can blur the actual photo on your iPhone. And there are two ways how you can easily achieve it. So I'm going to show you both of the methods. So let's begin with it. The first one is probably basic and it's using the portrait mode. So it is built in to multiple of the newer iPhones. Like even if you have the iPhone SE, which only has one camera lens, you're going to have it. But most of the iPhones definitely support it. So if you have anything like the newer ones, you're going to have it. So go to your camera. You can see here is the cinematic video photo and here is the portrait mode. So let me show you what it looks like when you try to snap that photo. So you will basically just uh, bring your iPhone like this and you're going to need to have some sort of object. Then, And here at the top, it's going to give you some instructions. So move farther away. So, so I'm going to place it like this. You can see that it is now properly fitted. I'm taking a photo of my uh, plan. So right now I can just s snap a photo like this and it's going to like blur out the background. Like I can even uh, change some different styles and things like different lightings for it. But if you eventually just check out the photo, you're going to find out that, that the background behind it is actually blurred out. And you can even like zoom it in and like try different things with the uh, with the portrait photo and portrait mode. So it's really kind of versatile and you can use it in a lot of ways. But I'm going to show you what it looks like in uh, the photos app. So if you open up the photo, you can see that here is uh, the portrait which I shot. And you can even like edit it in a way and you can even like change it up a bit. So if you click on edit, you know, some of the toggles are going to pop up and you can even change uh, the aperture. So you can choose how much the background is going to get blurry. Like just check out the, the background right here. So you check out the pole behind it. As you can see, if I move this slider right here, it just changes it from a, like really blurry to like not blurry at all, which is the point of the portrait photo. It tries to emulate the real camera experience from a real from a real DSLR. So it's very useful. And I think that you should definitely try out and play around with these options. So this is how you can blur the background on images. The first option. The second one is to literally just grab any photo, a regular one, and you don't even have to like blur it for the background. But for that, you're going to need to go to the app store and search for some kind of blur photos app. Because uh, there are plenty of them available on uh, the App Store. Like, I even tried out some of them in the past. But there are plenty of apps which allow you to select certain parts of the image and blur out some parts, whether the background or foreground, or you can have some important part in uh, the photo, like some personal number or something that you want to blur out. I mean, it is totally possible to do it that way. So try out a different app. Some of them may be paid or have some subscriptions, but for some basic editing or for um, like basic blurring, then you definitely will find some uh, options which are even for free. So I would advise you to check out some of the apps. I'm going to link some of them below so you can go ahead and check it out. And that would be about it for this video. Hope it helped you out and hope you found it valuable because this is how I can blur out and blur the background or the foreground of photos on your iPhone. Thanks a lot for watching. For more videos, check out this one right here and also subscribe to Fox Tech, where I publish and upload a lot of informational videos and tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.